This is Valmiki Ramayan Season 7 Episode 11 Ravan steps into the battlefield Ravan was shocked when he heard that Akampan had also been killed He had now suffered three heavy setbacks one after the other He called his army chief Prahast to review the situation They inspected their fortifications and the siege outside Ravan told Prahast Only 5 people can win this war for us now Kumbhakarna Indrajit Nikumb you and I It's time for you to step out and finish off these vanaras I believe they will just run away when they see you coming What do you think Please speak freely Prati loma nu lomam va yattu no manya se hitam Prahast replied My lord we discussed this earlier as well I always believed we should let Sita go rather than fight this war But you have done a lot for me I am ready to lay down my life for you And then Prahast surrounded by yet another massive rakshas contingent stepped out of the eastern gate of the city As before both sides fought bravely and both suffered heavy losses and then prahast came face to face with neel tavu bhau vahini mukhyo chatajasik tango the two chiefs of their respective armies were drenched in blood prahastasya sharavarshan nimilita akshah neelah sehe prahast's arrows rained down on neel but he closed his eyes and bore the pain one thing that comes across in valmiki's descriptions of these battles is the vanara's incredible strength stamina and ability to endure pain they just would not back down neel kept getting closer and closer until his enemy was within striking distance he then did what hanuman and angad had done previously He forced his enemy off his chariot, engaged him in close combat, and finished him off with a large rock smashed on his head. Yet another loss. Ravan realized how severely he had underestimated the Vanaras, and he decided that he would now step into the battlefield himself. Ravan climbed on to his magnificent chariot. and to the sound of conches and drums he led an army of his most ferocious warriors out of the city vibhishan was standing next to ram and saw ravan in the distance he alerted ram there see that towering person under the white canopy radiant like the sun that is ravan the lord of the rakshasas note Vibhishan did not say there that person with 10 heads is Ravan if Ravan really had 10 heads Vibhishan would have mentioned that to point him out Ram replied dishtya yamadya papatma mam drishti pathangatah adya krodham vimokshyami sita harana sambhavam it's good that i'm finally able to see the evil ravan Now I can vent my anger which has been burning inside me ever since he abducted Sita. This is the first time we shall see Ravan in battle. Let us see how he fares. The Rakshasas and the Vanaras tore into each other. In the mayhem Sugriv found himself close to Ravan and threw a large rock at him. Ravan saw the projectile coming. and deftly shattered it in mid air with an arrow and then he fired off a second arrow at sugriv the arrow zipped through the air emitting sparks and found its mark sugriv groaned in pain and collapsed to the ground unconscious ravan fended off attacks by other vanar leaders also without too much trouble soon gavaksha gavaya nal and others were lying on the ground like sugriv 
Hanuman then rushed towards Ravan. Ravan struck Hanuman hard on his chest and Hanuman smacked him with his hand. Both were shaken by the blows. But Ravan recovered first and landed another hard punch. Hanuman was left reeling in pain. Neel came next but suffered the same fate as the others. To give the Vanaras some respite, Lakshman then challenged the Rakshas king. They were both extremely skilled archers. They kept neutralizing the enemy's arrows in mid-air until one deadly arrow found its mark and landed on Lakshman. Lakshman staggered for a moment but recovered quickly and broke Ravan's bow. Ravan picked up a spear and sent it whizzing through the air. The spear struck Lakshman on the chest and he crashed to the ground. Hanuman came to Lakshman's rescue and quickly carried him back to safety. Now it was up to Ram to battle with the king of the Rakshasas. Hanuman asked Ram to climb onto his shoulders. Ravan had the advantage of fighting from a height since he was in his chariot while his opponents were on the ground. This move by Hanuman reduced that advantage. And so Hanuman and Ram charged towards Ravan. Ravan aimed his first attack at Hanuman. Hanuman was injured but he kept going. Ram attacked Ravan's chariot and immobilized it. And then he landed an arrow on Ravan's chest. The blow was like a thunderbolt. Ravan was stunned. He dropped his bow in agony. Ram's next arrow took off Ravan's crown. And then Hatadar Paharshah Bhagna Mahakirita Vivesha Lankam Sahasas Maraja. With his arrogance broken, happiness destroyed, and crown shattered, the king of the Rakshasas made a hasty retreat back to Lanka. Note, Ravan was a great warrior, no doubt, but he was not invincible and he knew this very well despite all the big talk. That is why he did not take Ram head on in Panchavati and that is why he retreated right now instead of fighting on. Ram had won the first round against Ravan. But for him, this was no time to celebrate. There were more important things to do. Harin Vishalyan Sahalakshmane na Chakar Rama. Ram, together with Lakshman, started attending to the injured Vanaras. Iti, ha, asa. That is how it happened.